going on, you guys? It's your boy, Alex West Collects here, bringing you another figure review. Today, we got a big one for you. We're going to take a look at all seven figures from the Hasbro Marvel Legends Disney Plus wave. That's right. We got the new Captain America. We got Winter Soldier. We got US Agent, Zemo, Loki, Vision, and Scarlet Witch. Uh, we're going to go and break them each down one by one and kind of give you an in-depth look at each uh, new figure. I'm going to do a quick overview of each figure in the packaging just to give you an idea up close and front how they look, especially if you are a mock collector. So we have the Vision and Scarlet Witch. Take a look at the image on the sides, as well as the read-up on the back and the other figures in the wave. Here we have Zemo and US Agent. Take a look at the sides. And the back. Here's Winter Soldier and Captain America. As well as the read-up for these guys on the back. And the beautiful images of each character. And last but not least, we have Loki. So we're going to go through each figure one by one. Um, but just to let you guys know, I did grab these at Target today. Um, give your local Target employee the DPCI 0871628. Um, you know, they are technically street dated. Uh, I gave the DPCI to someone. He brought them out. They are not locked at the register. Just to give you guys a heads up, they are fair game. Um, I was able to purchase them, no problem. And, you know, got the full set. So, and you know what? I'm over these street dates. Just take my money. Let me get my figures. It makes no sense. I don't want to hear people saying that they these companies put it out for a reason. It's just, it's dumb. If you have them in stock, let me buy them. It's not like they're all putting them out, you know, at the same time. So everyone can have a fair shot at it. I mean, most stores get one case, unfortunately. I wish they would just, you know, make it a little easier. But anyways, that is the figure game. Unfortunately, and you know... It's been a while since I actually per, uh, purchased a full set of Marvel Legends. I absolutely loved uh, the Disney Plus series so far. I can't wait for Loki to come out uh, next month. Um, you know, and I was actually excited for uh, the Build-A-Figure parts for the Falcon Wings. I know a lot of people said it was kind of a cop-out. They rather had a figure. But um, this thing looks like it's going to be massive. I mean, I don't really know what piece connects to what. I kind of have them all sprawled out all over the place. Um, but, you know, starting off with Loki... He does come with a backpack. Again, I don't know where that's going to plug into. I don't know if Red Wing plugs into it, but you do get Red Wing kind of on a little string or a translucent piece of plastic to give it the effect of it's flying. Um, Take a look at the detail. You got some nice red and blue with the silver. Um, Take a look at the back. Very nice. You also do get a flight stand. I cannot wait to put this all together and see how... The new Captain America looks. I'm absolutely loving Sam as the new Cap. And taking a look at Co uh, Loki. Um, what a scan. This looks spot on. Like Tom Hiddleston. Just really like the look. The hair. The nice wave to it. Um, I guess this is going to tie in to the series. Obviously it's not out yet. So uh, he's got a, bit, uh, a jacket on. Nice little sculpts to it. Take a look at the back. And this is just your standard suited body that we've seen with, like, Stan Lee and uh, Iron Man. You know, I can't stand these freaking feet. I feel like it's so impossible sometimes to get these guys to stand. They're, like, hunched over. But if that's one complaint I have, that would probably be it. But taking another closer look at the scan, just looks so good. Overview of the figure. Nice shine to the, the shoes. Taking one more look at the back. And look at that sculpting, man. Just looks beautiful, waving. And here's a quick look at some other Loki figures I have in my collection. I have the one from the Avengers 2-pack uh, from Walmart. And I have, I think this is a, was a Walmart wave from the uh, first Avengers movie. Honestly, I still think this is one of my favorites. Still holds up. Um, but just kind of give you an idea of how they stack up uh, next to each other. If you want to do a quick zoom in on the face scan, on the head scans. Just to get a little bit of a comparison. And here we have the new Disney Plus Loki next to Thor, just to give you an idea of how he scales. Next up we have Vision, and accessory-wise, he does come with two interchangeable fisted hands. As well as these two pieces for the Falcon Wings. You can see some nice sculpting detail in it. 
and this is based off of the appearance in WandaVision. I'm sorry to say, I thought WandaVision was a little slow. I know I may be in the minority there, but I definitely liked um, Winter Soldier and Falcon a lot better than WandaVision. Like the last two episodes of WandaVision picked up, but it was a little slow for me, but nonetheless, my opinion doesn't matter. We're here to look at figures. So take a look at the nice detail. Do you see the blue on the head? As well as the nice white and sculpted detail in the body. Get some nice uh, color differentiation down here on the boots as well as on the gauntlets. I do like this nice translucent cape. Um, a little lighter than what we had with uh, prior Vision re uh, release figures. I feel like those capes are really bulky and made the figure very heavy. This looks very nice. I do like the detail. Uh, definitely looks nice, especially the scan. Great likeness to the show. And here we have another Avengers Vision figure. You can see the difference uh, between the two. Um, and just like I was talking about before, I'm not crazy about this cape. I do like the detail to it. and I get it. But it's just so stiff. I wish it was a softer plastic. Uh, I feel like I'm constantly trying to move on my display and he's knocking figures over. Um, but if you guys want to get a quick close-up of the two scans. I actually feel like the this new one looks really good, man. I can't wait to see them repainted in the actual red and silver of, of this vision. It'll probably look a lot better. But take a look at the detail. You can see it's the same body, just kind of repainted. As well as on the boots. Cape is different again. You can see the difference in the detail, how this one kind of flares out a little more. Taking a look at now Scarlet Witch. So uh, she does come with two translucent interchangeable hands. These look pretty cool. Um, she also does come with this piece of the Build-A-Figure for the wings. Looks like the outer edges. Uh, taking a look, she also does come with these um, hand effects for the illusions, which we've seen before on uh, prior Scarlet Witch release figures. And in case you were wondering, let's swap out these hands because I'm curious to see how they look. You know, this... Uh, Costume, definitely an homage to her comic look. Definitely did like that in the series of WandaVision. And that's how the hands look on the figure. And in case you wanted to see with some effects, if you want to go that route to pose them, you can do that as well. That looks so cool, man. I feel like Hasbro's really stepped up their game. And they were on the first to introduce these kind of like effect pieces and now i feel like so many other toy lines are following suit but looking at the figure itself what a great likeness to elizabeth olsen and this is so good just really like spot on man i do like how the hair is kind of like flaring out on the sides you get the nice piece on the front here the nice detail the nice coloring too on the actual costume the black on the bottom Take a look at how, I guess what is that, a jacket? Would you call it a jacket? Kind of flares out. Just some great detail, man. Look at that hair. It's like from that scene where she's kind of like floating above. This is so cool, man. Looks really good. And here we are with the new Disney Plus Scarlet Witch versus another Avengers um, release Scarlet Witch from the Vision Wanda 2-pack. Um, taking a look, I feel, I th actually thought this was a decent scan. But this one just blows it away, man. Look at how much better that looks now. Wow, looks great. And you can see the effect pieces, which we have seen before. Similar gauntlets and gloves. Um, just looks very good. You can try to swap the heads, but unfortunately, um, the hole is too big for this peg. So it doesn't quite fit, but it will rest on there. I mean, if you guys wanted to pop, I guess, this piece off. Um, to try to keep that um, beautiful skin of Elizabeth Olsen. You can see how much bigger the peg is on the new one. The old head does not even fit on it. Next up we have Zemo. And he does come with quite a few accessories. Um, so he does have two interchangeable fisted hands. With a nice purple and black. You do get the Winter Soldier notebook. Some great detailing. Looks like it's been dirty and been through hell. Some nice little shading on there. Looks very nice. You do get another piece for the Falcon Wings. As well as the masthead. 
can see the eyes nicely uh, sculpted on here. Looks very good. And he also does come with this pistol, which is in his hand. Um, and taking a look, he does come with a pointing finger as well. And Zima was a, awesome in the show, man. Him dancing in the club was just so so cool. I really uh, did enjoy his performance. Very entertaining. But taking a look at the scan, another unbelievable likeness to the actor. Uh, just looks so good. I mean, even look at the coat. You get the nice white frills on the top, the fur. Um, take a look at the body underneath. You get the red shirt, the black pants, some nice sculpting of the buttons on the jacket. Continue on the back. You can see the purple underneath there. Really do like that extra added detail. Some nice, um, more sculpting on the back of the jacket as well, on the cuffs. And if you guys want to swap the heads, take a look, see how the masked head looks on the figure. Looks nice. I think I'm gonna opt to stick with the unmasked head from my display, but definitely do like the look to this. And you can see scale wise, I don't know if, I don't know if he scaled a little small. I don't know if that's accurate or not, uh, but Zemo definitely is looking a little bit on the small side. I'm sure the actor is smaller, but um, I guess that is what it is. Just giving you an idea of how that looks. Next up, we have U.S. Agent. I'll be honest, this is one I probably would have passed on if I didn't want to complete um, the Falcon Build-A-Figure wings, but it is what it is. I know they are coming out with that other version with the unmasked head, which is probably the one I'll be uh, grabbing for my display. So I don't know if I'm going to hang on to this one or probably try to use them for, for some trade bait or something. But accessory-wise, he does come with two fisted hands as well as another piece of the wing. And take a look at the figure itself. I mean, the scan is pretty nice. It's got a nice uh, likeness to the actor. And I was not a fan of John Walker. I'm sure none of a lot of us were not. Um, but some nice detailing on his suit. You can see the nice star. The red and the navy blue going down it. I do like the red gloves. It's a nice touch. Here's one gripe. Wish he would have came with a gun. I hate when they give us these holster pieces. They're not removable, man. It's like, give us some of that extra... Some extra accessories, man. Why not? Drives me nuts. But taking a look, you see some nice sculpting on the boots. Some nice red trim as well. Taking a look at the back, you see the star. Where you probably plug in the shield. That's another thing. He didn't even come with a shield, man. Well, I guess it, it does come um, with Sam. So, but they could have thrown in maybe another shield. I don't know. And here we have U.S. Agent next to the worthy Captain America. I'm um, Just to give you, again, an idea of how he lines up. And if you want to take a look close up at the scans you can see the difference in the sculpts and in the masks as well moving on to bucky next so accessory wise with him you do get two interchangeable hands you get a fisted hand and then you get a black with a nice gold on there for the metal hand kind of like a, a gripping pose looks very nice and some nice shine to it also you get of course another piece of the build a frig wings and you know for most of the, this wave, I feel like they really nailed the scans. This one looks a little off to me. I don't know what it is. I do like the nice 5 o'clock shadow. You can see on there. That's some nice detail. And the hair is pretty spot on. But something about the face just looks a little off. Um, you can see the nice detailing on the metal arm. I do like that with the, with the gold trim and the nice translucent color. Looks very nice. Looking at the shirt and the vest itself. Some nice sculpting of the belt buckle. More detailing on the other arm. Looks This looks good. I mean, I really do like how this jacket came out. Take a look at it from the back end. Some nice sculpting in there as well. And here's where he's a little weird. I mean, I feel like a lot of these Winter Soldier figures we've got, I don't like... Look at that weird ab articulation. Just still haven't gotten it right, man. I don't know, Hasbro. Definitely still not the definitive Winter Soldier. Um, but he th even has this... Uh, Kind of weird mid rotation. Usually it's higher at the thigh. Does he have boot rotation? Okay, he does. Um, and articulation wise, he's a little wonky if you ask me. Um, definitely a great piece, standalone piece to have from the series. So I do like that. Um, kind of evolution of Winter Soldier. And comparing him with the other Winter Soldier figure I have in my collection, um, kind of a, a mishmash of the first two releases. You can see height wise scale. Man, I didn't realize how much shorter this figure is 
Um, and if you guys want to get a look at the skin, I still think this from the two pack was a better likeness. Something again, something just looks off. But even with this one, I the articul uh, articulation on that ab crunch is so off. I don't know. Let me know in the comments uh, below what do you guys think. Do you uh, like this new figure? And last but not least, taking a look at the new Captain America. I am loving um, Sam as Cap. Uh, definitely looks great. So accessory-wise, it does come with another backpack, which ports into the back. It's got a peg right there. He does come with, of course, the Captain America shield. Remove that. Take a nice close-up look at that. Definitely uh, similar of all the other ones we've received in the past with different Captain America figures. Some nice sculpting of the silver and the rivets around the handle. Um, kind of a, a faded, kind of not a silver uh, gray finish. Kind of wish they would have maybe used a, a nicer, more of a shiny, I guess, color to it. Um, take a look at the figure itself. You've got the goggles. I do like that. Looks very nice. Beautiful star in the front. It's just so colorful, so bright. Really looks patriotic, man. Like I said, I, I'm loving um, Sam as the new Captain America. It just seems so fitting for the time. Take a look at the gear itself. Nice sculpting on the boots. Nice silver finish. Look at the back as well. You can see the cover around the back of his head. Got the nice star on the side. Just some great detail to it. I'm surprised um, he did not come with any interchangeable hands. Um, but I guess you do get the shield and the backpack piece. Kind of wish he would have came with something a little extra to put it over the top. And just throwing in some other Steve Rogers Captain Americas versus Sam. Just to kind of give you an idea of, you know, different looks of the suit and the variations. As well as the shield. So this is the one that came with uh, Sam. And here we do have the Worthy Cap uh, Damage Shield. And I also do have, I don't even remember from which series this was, but um, another Captain America Shield, kind of with a little more shine to it versus this one. Uh, I feel like, is this one even a little smaller? No, they're about the same size, but just to give you some different variations. All right, and now onto the moment we've all been waiting for. So just a note, the backpack that comes with Sam, um, it's just kind of like a port in to just kind of have him displayed without his wings out. You do get this other backpack, which is intended to be used for the build of figure parts. As you can see on the inside, it's got two pegs in there. You're going to take each of these little ones with a rounded piece. You can see the difference. Um, I guess this one kind of looks like it's just a little bigger on this end, if that makes sense. If you can see the difference. But it's going to port in just like this. And you're going to take the other piece as well. You can port it in like that. And that's kind of your first step. Um, you're going to take one of the smaller wing pieces. Plug it in there. As well as the other one. And then you're going to take the ends. And pour them to the top part. And that'll give you your falcon wings. You can see it's got articulation up there. Those fold in as well. Same on the other side. And this just ports in to the back. So we're going to remove this backpack. You're going to port it in here. And this will give you your Build-A-Figure Falcon Captain America. And we did not forget, we do have Red Wing to put on there. And you know what? I was toying with it off camera, and it is a bit of a pain in the ass. But just one tip I did realize that worked for me is if you pop the wing off and kind of play with it, it does pour it in. And again, this is articulated, so you can play with it and move it around. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. See, it comes off pretty easy, so be careful. Let's see if I can snap it back on um, real quick. All right, so not too bad. It goes back in. Like I said, it does it doesn't stay in there very secure. You got kind of have to be careful, but you can pop the wing back on, and that's how Red Wing would look with the wings attached. And here we have the completed Build a Figure wings on Captain America Falcon himself. 
um, attached to the flight stand as well. And what a transition of a role, you know, from just one of the side kind of characters in the Marvel Universe to obviously one of the main guys going forward. I definitely do like the look of this figure if you guys just wanted to kind of see the difference, um, you know, the transition of the character himself. But as far as this flight stand, I kind of wish, uh, I guess it's not really a flight stand, it's more of a stand. I kind of wish there was more capabilities you can use to pose him. Um, maybe you're better off getting something from NECA where you can have him kind of displayed in the air. And wrapping this video up, um, just wanted to give you an idea of how Falcon looked like on a flight stand. Uh, I'm using a DC McFarlane Superman stand. You can see how nice the wings look spread out uh, with Red Wing floating above them. Uh, definitely could get them in some great dynamic poses. As far as some final thoughts on the wave, I highly recommend it. I feel like each figure came with such a great amount of accessories. Um, the scans on a lot of these figures came out so good. Uh, you know, Bucky, hit or miss, could be a little better. But I mean, the rest of them really do look like such great likeness to the actual characters themselves. And as far as the Build-A-Figure pieces, I know you don't get an actual figure, but the wings look great. Uh, I do really, um, I'm really happy to have this in, especially after the series had just ended. It's a great way to introduce the new Captain America to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, if I had one gripe, it'd probably be the stand included. I kind of wish we would have had more of a flight stand. And I will say the wings poured it in pretty well. It's The backpack seems to be staying in the back of um, Captain America pretty good. But Red Wing was a pain in the ass to pour it in. Definitely pop off the wing like I had showed uh, prior in the video, and you can really kind of push it in. But, I mean, any slight movement, I feel like it pops out. So I hope that's something they improve on um, going forward. And before you guys go, please make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel here for more great content. I will be posting a ton more different uh, figure video reviews coming up. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects. I'll be posting a ton more pictures on there. Thanks for checking out this review, and take care.